Once again, first and foremost, with all things and everything, we give all honor, praise, glory, and allegiance to the creator of the heaven and earth, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to our family here, again, our family online. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. We look strong. We look strong. We holding in there. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful day. Yes. It's a beautiful day. Huh? All right. Um, and uh, like teachers before me, I know it's, it's been a lot of it's a lot of beautiful stuff that's been said. It's a lot of strong, positive stuff. So let's not let the that little growl in your stomach take away from all of this this food that we get in that mental food, that spiritual food, that we need more than something to put in our stomachs. Because we can do it day mm -hmm. on a regular. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we eat to live, but we don't live to eat, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we want to act like I got to have that. We don't have to have that right now. <laughs> what we got to have is what we having right now. Right. And um, I can't say it enough that this is a, you know, it's like a selfish day. It's a personal day. And, you know, and, and we have to, like Chief Wu said, we're not taking no breaks or anything. So if you feel the need, you know, say, wow, I just remembered something, you know, that I really need to just walk off and go to my car or go somewhere and just get on my knees and pray. You know, y'all free, you know. Don't everybody leave at one time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you free. We free, you know. Feel free to go off to yourself if you just feel like walking around the block, you know, and, and meditate, you know, and talk with the Creator. You know, and um, like I said, we had a lot of good teachers here, and like um, Adon Zakar said, you know, a lot of us came here different ways, and any other way, you know, looking at another person, the way they doing this thing might not have been your way, you know, and I hope I wasn't one of them old rough, tough guys that he was talking about that, that helped him get this way, but if I was, so be it. Um, you know, and uh, like I said also, this is not a time to look toward other people and look on them, and it's not easy, people. It's not easy. You know, we asking for forgiveness for sins, but sometimes right here, while we asking forgiveness, we like, oh, look at this guy. Look what she's wearing, and oh, she's supposed to have, he's supposed to have on this, and ain't got no sackcloth. None of us got sackcloth on. We all doing it wrong. You know, we, we still we still there, and it's, it's just something better than us. So let's really try to take this time to talk with the Most High. But uh, moving along, in the spirit of things, we're going um, to go into the book of Ezekiel, in the chapters 18. We're going to start at verse 1. We're in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, starting from verse 1. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, what mean ye that ye use this proverb in the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge? Okay. It says, Why do you keep repeating this proverb in the land of Israel? Mm. Something that we just keep repeating. It's just, you know, I mean, it ain't like, it ain't law or nothing, but we just keep repeating it. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I want my cake and I want to eat it too now. Mm -hmm. uh, we ain't going to say that can't have cake and eat it too no more. No, we ain't gonna say certain things. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Mm -hmm. Where it came from? Somewhere in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it just stuck with us. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one of the days we ain't showered or did nothing. Mm -hmm. Talking about cleanliness, but we trying to get real close to God. Mm -hmm. So those things. But this is a saying that's been said: the fathers have eaten um, unripened grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. That means the fathers have done the stuff and it passed on to the children. Right. The fathers bit a lemon and the children got chills all down. They, 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 it's, you know, these things ain't passed on. The only way you, you pass it on is you inherit it. Mm -hmm. you know, if you doing that, with, you know, you seeing that and you do that, as we're going to get to as we go further. Come she. As I live, saith your whole God, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in, Yis in Israel. Behold. All souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. 
Okay, let's, um, let's go to Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14. It say, as I live. When the Most High say, as I live, it's like a father telling the children, as I stand here today, as I say this to you, this becomes law. In this house, this is how it go. As I live, this is how it go. And the Most High lives forever. So when he said, as I live, that means this is for all times. Mm. Ezekiel 14. Came, verse 14. Verse 14. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith Jehovah God. Saith Jehovah God. These men, in their most righteous righteousness, can only deliver their own souls. As much as we go to the back of that book with them people, the apostles and stuff is talking about somebody died for our sins. Mm. Somebody gave up their life so that we may live and sin some more. Hmm. Somebody jumped in front of the gun and took the bullet for you. <laughs> let's, let's see, the, let's see the, you know, the, the, real, the realism of this, you know. It said the person who sinned, let me read it. as I liveth, it is Jehovah who speaks. There will no longer be any reason to repeat this proverb in Israel. Mm -hmm. See now, all lives belong to me. Right. All of us belong to the creator of heaven That's right. earth. All of us belong to him. It said the father's life and the son's life, both, both alike of to me, belong to me. The man who sinneth, he is the one that shall die. Mm. The man who stealeth, he is the one who has to repay that plus the fifth. Mm -hmm. The man who kills, murders somebody, his blood has to be shed. Right. We don't have nobody stepping in, oh, I'll take that. For, no, that's not how it goes. Right. We are responsible for our own behaviors. Country. Chapter 18, verse 5. But if a man be just... And do that which is lawful and right, and have not eaten up, eaten upon the mountains, neither have lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, neither have defiled his neighbor's wife, neither have come near to a woman in her impurity, and have not wronged any, but have restored his pledge for debt, have taken naught by robbery, have given his bread to the hungry, and have covered the naked with the garment. He that have not given forth upon interest, neither have taken any increase, that have withdrawn his hand from iniquity, have executed true justice between man and man, have walked in my statutes, and have kept my ordinances to deal truly, he is just. He shall surely live, saith Jehovah God. Okay, the Most High, the creator of all things and everything, said this guy who you found no fault in, who I found no fault in, who does those things that I require of him, who does my laws, my statutes, who feeds the hungry, who, who clothe the naked, who do all of these things from his heart. He said, that guy, he's going to live. That righteousness is going to prolong his days. Come she. 10. If he beget a son, that is a robber, a shudder of blood, and that doeth to a brother any of these things, whereas he himself had not done any of these things, for he hath even eaten upon the mountains and defiled his neighbor's wife, have wronged the poor and needy, have taken by robbery, have not restored the pledge, and have lifted up his eyes to the idols, have committed abomination, have given forth upon interest, and have taken increase, shall he then live? He shall not live. He have done all these abominations. He shall surely be put to death. His blood shall be upon him. Okay, now, you do all of these righteous things. You do that which is right in the sight of the Most High. You do the things that please the most high. You know, but you, you work, you know, you go to work, you come home, you know, you relax. You just, you know, you live a humdrum life. Mm -hmm. But you're fearing God and, you know, you're not looking at that world out there. And you begin a son, but your son see that life and just to him it's like, oh, my, my Abba been doing all this beautiful stuff and all this God stuff he be talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't see no profit in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see no problem with all this good stuff I was doing. 
I don't see him driving around like them guys out there and them fancy Mercedes Benz and, and these Teslas and all this. He got a Chevy. Mm. You know, what, what profit did he get out of this, all this good stuff he doing? You know, and then he flips. He see that other way and that way, like they say, the grass always look green on the other side. Right. But we know the grass is greener where it's well watered at. Mm. <laughs> If you water the grass and you, you tend to your grass, it's going to get green. That's it. Huh? But people don't look at their own grass. You want to look all the way over there, somebody else's grass. And of course, it's going to look good from a distance. Mm. You know, but this guy see that, and he, you know, he see the, 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 the man's wife that's been looking at him, and, you know, I would have never, ever, ever looked twice at, at a married woman. But she, she, she looks so nice, you know. She fly. You know, all these things start going in his head. And he's just contrary to his father. He says, should this guy live? Hmm. I mean, after all of your hours taught you, you're still your own person at the end of the day. Right. You can't live off your hours goodness. You can't live off that. Sometimes people say in the streets, they say, yo, man, I know your pops. Your pops is a good guy, boy. Uh, if I ain't know your pops... The way you acting, you know, you might can get a pass mm. from the streets, but the most high deal is just waiting to just balance. That's right. So you are responsible for your own thing. So when you see this, you might not even live half your hour's life. Mm. He might bury you as we're burying many children these days. Right. Which the father's not supposed to bury the children. But when you and your fast life and your glamour and you coming through pulling up and bumping the horn and I'm saying, oh, you want to live? You want to rock? All of that. And as we see where most of them people who live their life is short. It's short. It may look long to you and long to them, but just having, you know, having that, that good drug life from 1980 to 1985 wasn't no long period. Right. And you usually don't see all of the, 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 the stuff that, that you think you have, have accumulated. Mm. You see a felony record, you know, you see all that money you gave to lawyers, mm -hmm. but you don't see, you know, in that fast money, whereas you took that time out to become a lawyer, went to law school for whatever, you know, then you, then you get the, the longevity money because you're taking them cases from the fast money people. Right. But um, come see. Verse 14. Now, lo, if he beget a son, that see if all his father's sins, which he have done and considereth and doeth not such light that have not eaten upon the mountains, neither have lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, have not defiled his neighbor's wife, neither have wronged any, have not taken aught to pledge, neither have taken by robbery, but have given his bread to the hungry, and have covered the naked with the garment, that have withdrawn his hand from the poor, that have not received interest nor increase, have executed mine ordinances, have walked in my statutes, he shall not die for the iniquity of his father. He shall surely live. He's going to live. He's going to be lived because he's seen the things that his Abba is doing. Mm -hmm. If he hasn't seen his, his grandfather, he heard good things that his grandfather was doing. And although his father may be jewels down, nice cars, three houses, all of this stuff, it don't, it don't feel right here. Right. Even you and her and all of this evil stuff, it don't feel right. You can't sleep at night. You lose a lot of sleep watching your Abba bring, bring women all through the house, loose women and all kind of stuff, and you lose sleep. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say that Diddy style, but <laughs> you, you, you can't, you say, I'm not living that life, you know? The money, the money ain't that important to you. You know, it's the peace of mind. Mm -hmm. You know, Grandpa had peace of mind. Grandpa, when I was a little guy, he used to take me fishing. We could sit there for hours and just catch a little something like this. But he was happy. He was content, you know? Mm -hmm. Now my eyes all mad. If, if somebody don't come back in 15 minutes with something he put in their hands, where you at? Where she at? He's stressed out. I don't want to live that life. Right. You see the wrong in your eyes. You see that it is not a, a, a way pleasing unto the most high because you did take the time out to stay in, in this book. And you see that that ain't it. 
whatever he think may be profit or whatever he think is, you know, that worldly good stuff that, you know, the people, you know, you fly, that's not pleasing unto the Most High. Right. But because the Most High's ways, you know, the, his chastisement ain't hit you immediately, we think we got over all the time. Mm -hmm. We always thinking that, oh, I'm good. Huh? I stole this, I robbed that, it ain't nothing happened to me. I ain't seen nothing on the news. Right. They, don't, they don't know that was me taking them ATM machines out the, out the bodegas. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't know, I'm good. But you don't know that they're watching cameras and this and that all the way down, blocks and blocks and blocks till you just drop the mask. Boom, then they got you. Uh, you, you robbed that store in Manhattan. You done came over the Brooklyn Bridge and now you downtown Brooklyn. You say, I'm good now. But they done followed the car, followed the, the thing, and boom, now we got them now. Took that mask off, huh? Get some face neck recognition. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I watch the TV shows, man. It's a facial <laughs> recognition there. Huh? That's Prince. Huh? Get an address. Go see that. But you think you good because you spend the ATM money. You thinking about your next, you know. So life is good until we get get the lashes. Go ahead. Verse 18. As for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, committed robbery on his brother, and did that which is not good among his people. Behold, he died for his iniquity. Yet say ye, why doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father with him? When the son hath done that which is lawful and right, and hath kept all my statutes, and hath done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father with him, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son with him. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Okay, everybody gets according to your own That's due. That's right. Mm -hmm. You get according to your own due. And we ask, I mean, because like we see here, this is a roller coaster thing. Like life, it's a roller coaster thing. We got ups, we got downs, you know, goods, bad. There's no one that said if not. Mm -hmm. So you say, okay, does, is the bad doer a bad person? We do sin, we make mistakes. We do things that are right, not right. But when you do them on a constant level with, 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 with consciousness of what's happening here, you know, that puts you on another scale. So it says, it says, but to the upright man, his integrity will be credited. Mm -hmm. Your integrity, when you see an upright person, like I said, we make mistakes, but if you know this guy, for being a certain way, you say, oh, nah, nah. Brother, brother such and such, he's not like that. You know, nah, but I'm telling you, he did this, he did that. I put my money on the counter and he came by, he took my money. Listen, brother, that's a mistake, man. He's not that kind of guy. And you confront him, you say, oh, I put a, a 20 in too. I thought that was my change that the old boy gave me. You know, we can rectify the situation. We can make it right with communication. Mm. But you got people vouching and say, oh, nah, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't just take your money like that. I'm telling you, I went that way and I've seen him take it and go. But it, it was a reason. You know right. what I mean? You wait, you know, you'll change, you grab it, boom. But that's your credit. And you will be accredited for your righteousness. Mm. He said, but the wicked, the wicked will be condemned for his wickedness. Right. You're going to get yours. You're going to get yours. Verse 21. But if the wicked turn from all his sins that he hath committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his transgressions that he hath committed shall be remembered against him. For his righteousness that he hath done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith Jehovah God, and not rather that he should return from his ways and live? But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. It says, but if the wicked man renounces all the sins right. he has committed, mm -hmm. respects, respects my laws, mm -hmm. and is, is a law-abiding and honest, and is law-abiding and honest, he will certainly live. We wasn't all born in this way, first of all. Right. The Most High knows us all. He knows all our spirits. And some of us had done wrong things in our life. Some of us had done evils coming up in life 
Some of us had things that we regret that we have done. Some of us had put tattoos on our bodies that we was like, now that we know about this God, we said, man, why did I do something like that? You know, certain things that you read now that you see is wrong. But when you learned of these things, right. when you came into the knowledge of these things, you're like, oh, man. Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that no more. Ah, oh, this is not right. You know, I had a very lucrative job, you know, business doing this and, and mm. selling this to that one or selling her to him or whatever. But that's not right. You know, I have to get out of the pimp game. Mm. You know, I can't, I can't do this no more because you learned about the creator and you learn what is pleasing to the most high and what is not. And once we learn these things, it's up to us to change. You still have that choice. You still can look for things that, you know, you say, oh, man, uh, this little one here, you know, I know it say about the idols, but I'm going to keep this, just this little one. <laughs> and we do those things. So we we want to, you know, we want to kind of bargain. But when the wicked God cho chooses to turn all the way away from wickedness mm -hmm. and do that which is right in the sight of the Most High, then the father say, look, I'm forget all of that that's stuff. Right. That that's 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 blinded. I got, I got a cover over that. Mm -hmm. That's shielded out. That's concealed. Right. You, know? huh? you do certain charges as a minor. Once you get a, a 18 or whatever, 21, they say, okay, that's a concealed record. Mm -hmm. They can't use that. That ain't, you know, they can't bring that to court no more on you. Mm -hmm. So it's with the most high. Certain things. Listen, don't bring up his past. He ain't know this gone. I ain't come to the camp. Oh, I knew you back when you was such and such and such. When your name was Slick Willie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, huh? used to have the loaded dice and all of that, you know, in the gambling spot. Don't bring all of that up on me, man. I come here to praise God like you come to praise God. Right. You know I mean, don't bring all of my past up. You know, you're going to give people a bad look at me even before they get to know me. And I changed. So when you change from your wicked, the Most High sees that, people. You have to see, he sees that. And you will be tested before you just grant the immunity and, and get all the good stuff. You're going you to get some tests. Huh? The little package is going to be thrown your way. But, okay. 24. Uh -huh. But when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and commit it for iniquity and do it according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? None of his righteous deeds that he have done shall be remembered. For his trespass that he trespassed, and for his sin that he have sinned, for them shall he die. Yet ye say, the way of Yehoah is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is it my way that is not equal? Equal? Is it not your ways that are unequal? Okay, now, vice versa, people. Mm -hmm. You've had people who've been born in this way of life, people who've been raised up in a righteous manner wherever they come from because, you know, even in people who don't know this God, they, they went from birth, your parents, your parents that don't really know of this God, they raised you in a good way. They raised you in a righteous path. They raised you on a don't do this or do that, you know? Walk this path. And you've been walking this way all your life, you know, and now, like some of us been in this way, like I said, all their life. Some of us been in this way 40, 40 years, 50 years. And all of a sudden, you know, man, I've been doing, I ain't missed a Shabbat since 1985. Mm. I've been doing law. I've been doing Yom Kippur since 1987. Walking around starving since 1987. <laughs> got to have a little money saved up in the bank where I can do this. And, mm. and it don't work that way. Nah. It don't work that way, but people think that they can just get a pass. You think that, you know, and, and you think for some reason that the law changes. You change. The law don't change. Right. The law stays the same. The law stays the same, but as we get more into this thing, we start seeing things, and oh man, this guy goes too far with the law. Oh, he, you know, he's doing extra. 
No, oh, he got ZCs on his shirt. He got a vest on. He got ZCs on this. Mm -hmm. How much ZCs Prince need on? <laughs> That's why I don't wear none, because Prince wears five pairs of ZCs. <laughs> I'm telling you, people think after a while, you know, I, I could just run outside and go to the store. That's where it starts at. You mm. go to the store, I don't, need, I don't need to put the whole ZC vest on. And then I got to put a shirt on and poosh, just to go to the store and come back. And say, oh man, I forgot it. I'm going to work. I can go to work today. And you know, before you know it, the TC vest is in the hamper. That's the only one you had anyway. Mm. <laughs> Sad, but true. You know, people got one pair of ZC fringes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, and this is what happens. We, that all that righteousness, you know, you don't take that as getting mercy from a creator. You take that as, you know, I've been good so long, you know. I, I can do a little bad. Mm -hmm. I can do a Friday night, you know. You know things that you know that that been getting you through all your life. Shabbats. Oh, Shabbat! That, listen, when you see people, I can't say this enough. When you see people you went to school with and did other things with, and they look like twice your age, right? And they say, "Damn, you look good, man." Wow, I ain't seeing you. You said stop, 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 but you look good, and you can't say the same about this person. Right. In good conscience. <laughs> you know, I mean, we both got gray hair, but you, you're aged, bro. You kind of mm -hmm. aged there, you know? And then you say, Torah Yah for Shabbat. That's right. That allow you to take that one day off a week, 52 days off a year. And just keep doing the multiplication and in seven years, you know, this what took about a good year off. Fresh. I ain't do nothing in a year. Mm -hmm. Seven years. I'm just I'm just ah, rested. Yeah. But you wanna cut that in half. Mm. <laughs> you wanna take that good old rest day and just make it I just I'm just gonna do half of it. Yeah. Huh? I'll party that part of it and then I'll just do the, the this part right now. Same thing that got us there. We'll kick it to the curb. Mm. But trust us, when you're doing that, which is right, keep on doing what you're doing. Amen. If you see something wrong in you, that's what we're looking to change. Right. We're not, yeah, we're not trying to bargain here. You know, I'll change one wrong and then I'm gonna give up one right. We're not doing that. We're not playing that game with the, the higher power, with our creator. Amen. Verse 26. When the righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall die therefore. For his iniquity that he hath done shall he die. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. All right. Again. We can't reiterate this enough, people. You get choices in life. You can choose what's good and live, or you can choose evil and die. It's your choice. People can help you. You can ask advice. You can do all this, but the ultimate choice is yours. Right. I just want to read something in Apocrypha. It said, the pressing things. There are two things which grieve my heart, and a third arouses my anger. A warrior wasting away through poverty. A warrior, a mighty man, a guy who can go out here and kill a brick and put iron in a hospital. Mm. A dude, you know, a dude who y'all know can get anything he want. He's just wasting away in poverty. Mm. He's just, ah, it's like, come on, man, let's go out there, you know, let's make something happen, bro. You know, we gotta be breaking law. Listen, man, let's go to the gym, man. Box Tyson or something, man. You nice, man. You're a warrior, man. You a go get her, but you said you you choose to sit there and, and just be in poverty, wasting away. It said an intelligent man treated with contempt. An intelligent man, a man who stands before you, as these teachers do, and just they they teach you the laws of God. They teach you the rights and the wrongs. You know, people people of, of high that that are doing the right thing. Intelligent people, very smart people. 
and you choose, you teach them, you treat them with contempt, with disrespect. Who be dis dis disrespected for all that they do for you, for school teachers and all of them who try to help the children and all this, and, and you just want to bring a gun to school. Mm. Because the teacher failed you because you didn't do the work. <laughs> the teacher doing his job. But your, your choice is, I'm going to bring my pistol up there and I'll show her. I'll show him. Mm. And it says, And a man turning back from virtue to sin, Yehoah have marked this man out for a violent death. Right. He said, a man of virtue, a man that you know from the time you know him until now or for the forever until his time of passing. He said he was a, a man of virtue and then all of a sudden he just turned to sin. He just turned to, to filth, to nastiness, to grime. He may still wear the same clothes and clean and all that, but his whole demeanor has changed. His demeanor is filth. He said such a one the most high brings to a violent death. When you change it from doing all them good things and you just say, look, I'm going to take this one shot. You know, my man been telling me about this. He, he been doing this for years and getting over. He been, you know, he been doing this. And look, he got two houses. He got this and profit him. I'm just going to take this one shot. You want to turn from your righteousness and do this, this evil and sinful in the sight of the most high. Y'all ain't the same. You can't think and see what these... These people out here that know not of this great king do and think you can do it. I don't care how good and how easy the game look, it ain't for you. That's right. If you for God, it ain't for you. So don't let them fool you. And, oh, man, if you just do this one time, you good. I'm telling you, you're going to be good. It ain't for you. Come see. 29. Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of Yehovah is not equal. O house of Israel, is it my ways that are not equal? Is it not your ways that are unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, saith Yehovah God. Return ye, and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so shall they not be a stumbling block of iniquity unto you. Cast away from you all your transgressions, wherein ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit, but why will ye die, O house of Israel? Okay. Now, it say, yet the house of Israel objects what the what Yehovah. Let's go. The house of Israel objects what the Yehovah does. What Yehovah does is unjust. Hmm. That's us. Right. That's us. <laughs> we see, we see all these things going on, and, and we want to second guess the Most High. Right. We want to second guess. The creator of heaven and earth. The God who made all things, sun, moon, stars, the rain and storms. But when that when 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 people get their houses knocked down through tornadoes and all this, and they why God, why? Mm. We wanna do the whys. But when all them sunny days and all them sunshiny days in Florida and, yeah. and all this stuff, and I don't, you know, I don't wish nothing bad on these people. I don't even know them. But I don't second guess the creator of heaven and earth. Right. You know, so when we go into that, and I mean, we see it right in the book. We see it, Jonah. The brother just read Jonah. Most High just gave you a, a simple thing. Listen, go here, tell them this, and have a nice day. Mm -hmm. huh? What's what's up? <laughs> Listen, take this note mm -hmm. to the store. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. I'll pick up the stuff later on. No problem. That's it. That's all. No. But we 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 try to second guess the Most High or or get in the stead of the Most High. Huh? When they asked Shimmy well of a, of a king, he pissed. He's upset. Most I said, what you upset for, boy? He said, hey, dude. Hey, Judah, that devil. Push to the side. He says, me. Mm. Huh? I mean, sometimes we act like we want to fight the, the, the battles of the bulls high, but we can't do it. We can't do it. 
I mean, we got we get angry. We get angry when we see those, especially those people that we know that have been doing law and and doing what's right. When we see them, we, you know, we angry for God when they come with you talking about some. Yeah, man, I know Young Kapoor is in you know this weekend, but uh, I'll probably man next year I'll probably be there when I get myself together, man. You know, when I I'm working on some things, man. As soon as them things come through for me, man, uh, we at we at again. Hmm. Four four eighty seven. Nah, I ain't even gonna correct the address. I hope you do go to four eighty seven. <laughs> but you know, mm-hmm. people second guess and people try to do things. And most high said, "You say it's me that's unjust." Come. She- for I will have no ple- for I have no pleasure in the death of him that died. Save your whole God. Wherefore turn yourselves and live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most high said he don't he don't get no glory and no joy out of killing his own people. Right. So I made you. So I made you. So I don't get no joy out of killing you. But there's rules here. There's regulations. There's rules to this game. Mm-hmm. So it said repent. Repent and live. Right. And as I say, this happens today, people. That, this happens. Don't nobody know your faults, your shortcomings better than you. They might have a secret on you, but don't nobody know your faults and your shortcomings better than you. So as this book says, let's repent today and live, people, and praise the Most High. Hallelujah. 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 